my lovely viewers and welcome back to Freebird Diaries. In today's video, I'm going to speak to you about how and why I decided to do a DIY scrambler build project on my 2014 Royal Enfield Classic 350. Before I start off with the process of the DIY build, let me get back to why I actually chose to do a DIY scrambler build. So back in 2019 uh, when i decided to go and build a scrambler out of my existing royal enfield classic 350 i did reach out to a couple of uh, customization shops and you know gave them my idea of a scrambler build i also had in mind what exactly i wanted to build and what are the parts that need to be replaced so the price quotations that i actually got on um, the lowest that I got was actually 65,000 and the highest that I got was 95,000 which I thought was way too much for the parts that I wanted or the things that I wanted to be changed on the Royal Enfield. So I decided to do it myself. <laughs> disclaimer to all you guys out there when i was actually doing the build i never had this youtube channel or never did think of having a youtube channel so i do not have any recordings from the build what i do have is photos still photography which my friend sujit actually helped take during the course of the video i will definitely share a few photos but however this video is all about me talking <laughs> Before I started off the build, I actually did my research on what could be the legal modifications as per Indian laws so that I did not have the cops chasing me every time I took out the bike. We started off by stripping down the bike. So my first clear picture was shorter mud guards. So what I did was I went to one of the local markets and got secondhand mud guards because I obviously wanted to retain my original parts. And mind you, all my original parts are still here. So if ever I decide to sell the bike off, and uh, the buyer wants a classic classic i have all the parts so you know i can just unbolt the existing ones and put back the originals and then sell it off so whenever you do a diy retain your original parts. so coming back to the mud guards the first thing that i did was actually size them get it cut professionally and the holes for the clamps and the indicator drilled and then I sent it off to paint. In the meantime, what I did was I also milled the risers for my rear suspensions. So the stock is about this much, okay? But what I got were two inches, which I got milled from CNC block. And it was just a simple case of unbolting it and then putting it so that I don't have any additional parts or screws which might prove faulty next came the front suspensions i changed the springs to the standard 350 which has harder springs in there and i think it's also two coils extra so it gives you less travel when you're actually doing off-roading coming to the exhausts i did not change it because again that modification is illegal but here's something for you guys to let me know right here's the question do you think that if I reposition the original exhaust system like a scrambler, which is cutting half through, would that be legal? Do let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Now, when I stand, me being a six foot tall person, I actually had to redesign the handlebars and I got a higher dirt bike style handlebar, which is also known as RD handlebars, but it's much bigger than a RD handlebar so that I can comfortably stand. I did use adjustable levers for my clutch and the brake, which gives a better response when it comes to braking or leaving the clutch. This is much better in compared to the original levers, if you'll ask me my opinion, but when you're looking to install this on a regular bike, I would suggest not to do so. I did change the rear sprocket of the bike as well so that I get more torque at lower RPMs. Obviously, I did not do anything to the engine to give me more power, but doing these smaller modifications, I think my bike actually performs pretty well. If 
you did enjoy this video give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below share this video with your friends and encourage them to do diy builds